Saint Anne, why is she so important or why is she sought after? She was without child and she prayed for a child. That's the only child she got was Mary. All we know about Mary is that in the Bible, she is I mean, written in the Bible, how she has been uh, proclaimed as uh, what they call, she is a special person among all women to bear Jesus. From here we can see how she must have brought up Mary very well. The church doesn't declare anybody simply a saint. There must be a miracle, there must be some miracles from the oppressed to people who ask for, uh, who ask for their needs. For St. Anne, here people come and uh, again and again will testify that the miracle basically is they get babies when they pray. The Feast of St. Anne is celebrated for 10 days. Nine days of Novena, ending with the 10 day kind of a Thanksgiving Mass culminates there. Before the nine days, we have uh, nine days, we'll start with the flag raising ceremony, just the day before. In the nine day, we have every day a different theme of preaching. And we have four different language masses, English, Tamil, Mandarin, and Bahasa Malaysia. Now on top of it, there'll be priests from outside who will be coming who are maybe from Thailand, they will ask for Mass in Thai language. We'll also cater for them. Priests from uh, Sabah who like to have Mass in uh, Karazan, Karazan Dusun people, we'll also cater for them. We'll try to accommodate as much as we can, you know, into the, into the feast. Main attraction is a shrine. They must go inside there, offer a candle, pray, and that's a great satisfaction going inside. Then you go up the hill and pray there, it's a, we had another statue there, it's a, up there. Then also offer a prayer, then we come down. This is a part of the pilgrimage. Then the ninth day evening, that's the day we have this procession of saints. Procession is part of the church's proclamation and that uh, this saint has done something. That's why Sanan is brought around and well, people uh, like it and it's part of the tradition of the church. Some people do some sacrifices here on the road, they will uh, also beg. The spiritual begging, they call it, is a kind of a humbling of self. Lah. They will stand and they will just extend their hand with a handkerchief on top. Tons of people will come with the coins they've saved for a year or something, then they will drop. Lah. Then they will go and offer as part of their offering, their love for St. Anne. St. Anne's has become part of BM. People out there, uh, they seem to have some kind of connection to St. Anne. A lot of people stop by and pray to St. Anne. Catholics, basically, they will come to attend the worship. The Mass is celebrated in the Basilica. Not only the buildings, they will go up the hill also. They must see St. Anne up on the hill. More Hindus and Buddhists and, I mean, talk about race, Chinese and Indians come. We have also sometimes uh, Malay people coming, just visiting. They know this place. Some come for some talks on religion, inter-religious dialogue. East Malaysians have already come, started coming in way back 1990s, I think 80s also. They started connecting East and West Malaysia. Singapore has been coming all the time. Thailand always. What I got when I was here was people from Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, you know, Philippines, of course Indonesia. Most of them when they come here, the feeling is a kind of real real openness. I think it's one, not only uh, I pray, but together we pray, I think all of us are blessed. La. That is a really good feeling, you know. Being on the ground is the experience. La. I think that's why things do happen in the ground. And you feel it, you touch it, and you smell it. I think that's where peace becomes meaningful. Well, good time to come and just experience it. So, and find out what is it so special here.